Hi everyone. Today we're going to do a bit of strength work. So you're going to need a sturdy chair, like a dining room chair, quite an upright chair. That's all you need really, and a bit of space. Okay, barefoot if you can. So if you're at home, it's nicer to work out bare feet because you get that connection with the ground. Yeah. We're going to start fairly easy, and then every time we go to the next set of exercises, it's going to get harder. So what I would like you to do is do the first set as best you can. If you need to take a breather, that's fine. If you do the get to the end of the first set and you feel like you need to stop, then you should have a rest. If you feel like you can carry on, so you get a little bit tired, but you can push yourself, I would say do some of the next set. It might be that the next set's too, too much, yeah? We're making it harder. So what you could do if you wanted to keep going, instead of doing the next set and making it harder, you could repeat the first set. Yeah, so there's no um, definite thing you have to do here. It is how you feel at the time. So I'll talk you through that as we go. But just remember, it's your workout. So you decide how hard you want to work. So we're going to start, first of all, sitting nice and upright. If you can sit away from the back of the chair, that would be better because then you're using your own support system. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes, yeah? At some stage, you might feel like, oh, you can't do anymore. Then by all means, sit back, yeah? So let's see if we can start a little bit away from the back of the chair. You can see I'm sitting nice and upright. We're going to start very simply by just straightening the leg out and bringing it back down. That's all we're doing, straighten your leg and bring it back. Can you see that my body is staying nice and still? Yeah, so I'm not moving through my body. I want you to keep nice and still. I slowly breath, sitting really tall. Shoulders relaxed, sitting up tall, breathing. Lovely. We've got about five more each side to go, so I'm going to try for about ten each side. So we're just sort of getting used to these muscles working. Lovely. Let's do three more each side. You might feel that your core muscles, this area, is working a bit just from sitting up, which is good, isn't it? Is the chair creaking? It's not me. <laughs> okay, so this one we're going to come forward a little bit more if we can. So what we're going to do is we're going to step out and in. That's it. Out and in. That's good. Now, if I was you, I would, when we're do, doing this workout, is to put in the background perhaps your favourite music, especially if it's got a nice beat to it, because then you can work to the beat of the music. And that always makes it more enjoyable, doesn't it? Yeah, you can find your own rhythm. So I have to put music on because everybody's different. We all like different things. So pick something that makes you want to move around. I think I've lost count now. But we're trying for about 10, so I think we've got about three more. Keep sitting tall. Keep breathing, go and hold your breath. Right, can you see I'm moving my whole leg, not just my foot, yeah? So these are quite big movements even though we're seated, yeah? We're going to come forward even more. We're going to hold on to the chair though, just to make sure. So if you're not sure about this, you can, as I said, you can change the workout to suit yourself. Try not to arch your back, but equally try not to collapse. Try and sit up as best you can. Push down into your hip bones and just see if you can take that leg under the chair. So you're going to feel the back of your thigh working a little bit now. And again, we're taking a slow, easy breath. So this is just a warm-up. So we are going to make it harder, but as I said to you, you don't have to. You can just repeat this. You don't have to make it harder if you don't want to. It's all different. Do what works for you. Nice deep breaths. Think about what you're doing. Under the chair. And under the chair. So some movements are harder than others, aren't they? They're the ones you have to think, right, what am I doing? I'm going under the chair. So a little lift and then under. And back down. So you lift, under, foot 
on the ground, lift, under, foot on the ground, lift, under, foot on the ground. If in doubt with any movement, say it to yourself. You can say it in your head, you can say it out loud, doesn't matter. If it helps you to do the movement, it's worth doing. up to 15 you can work up to that yeah so there's lots of different ways of exercising as long as you feel that they're working you a little better then they're working so the next one we have sat back a little bit here so what we're going to try and do is lift the knees if this makes you do this lift your leg less so don't go up here unless you can sit up if you're coming up here and doing this it's better to lift lower and stay straighter. Or even use the back of the chair to help you. Yeah, so adjust it so you get a nice technique when you do the exercise. Lift the knee. Sit tall, lift the knee. Lift, lift. Good. This chair is very creepy. Lift, <laughs> lift. Through it all the way. 
but you want to do enough that you feel that that has done something, that you are warmed up, that you can feel hopefully the muscle around the glutes, your hips and down the back of your legs doing something, and here a little bit. If you only feel it here, make sure that you're not doing too much forward knee movement, yeah? So when you come up, no knee locking. When you sit down, you sit back first, not this way. So don't sit down like this. Sit down like that, all right? Okay, we've got another hard one now. So this one, you could put a cushion under your knees if you want to come down to the floor. Again, think about whether it's suitable for you to do that. So we'll do another video where we're getting up and down off the floor. So what we're doing now is just for strength. So we're going to tip forward, we're going to push up to standing. We're going to turn around to a chair, so if you're not stable, do not do this when you're on your own, please. You're going to stand very close to the chair. You're going to take one leg back and drop down. Can you see both knees are bent? This is the leg. You're going to push into this foot and up to standing. Change legs. So that back knee doesn't need to touch the floor. This is just for balance. Big push into your front foot. Look how close to the chair I am. Nice big deep breaths. I've got the most stable chair for this one, haven't I? I'm going to put my hands a bit further in. So you have to think about things like this. Yeah, you're doing your workout at home. Might be that your chairs are a little bit lightweight. You might have to put your hands further back on the chair to be safe. So we're pushing into the front leg. Dropping both knees. Look how big that movement is. Big push. So this is not an easy exercise. There's a lot of movement in here. So again, do a few of those until you feel that it is testing you. Because we're getting down into the harder workout bit, aren't we? Now if you need a rest, there is nothing wrong with having a little time out, having a little sit down, have a glass of water, that's fine, and do some more, alright? Which brings me to the next bit. <laughs> so we're going to work a little bit harder now. Like I say, you don't have to, you could just repeat that first bit, you don't have to make it harder. So we're going to do the same exercises with little bits added to them, okay? So let's start. Sitting away from the back of the chair, let's do the leg lift. At the top, circle and circle and take the leg down. This time we're staying on the same leg. Circle and down. Sit up tall. Keep breathing. So can you feel that pause? It's that little pause there, that circle is making that muscle work a bit harder. Good, isn't it? Circle around. So that's five. We've got five more to go. Circle and circle. Lovely. And again. Two more. Keep sitting tall. See if you can get that core to do some work for you. Yep, all good. Lovely. So you should have felt that that did something. Let's do the other leg. So up we go. Circle round. Good stuff. Bring it down. And again. Nice deep breaths. So don't hold your breath, yeah? Just let yourself breathe. Relax your shoulders. Focus on the muscle you're using. So it could even be that you might feel that you want to tap that muscle. If you're struggling with this, if you feel that as you lift your leg, you're tensing your back, sit back and lift your leg. There's nothing wrong with doing it there. Just keep holding yourself up. So no, no slumping, no slouching. Not in my class. Good. Nearly there, I think. So again, we're aiming for about 
about 10. But if you felt that you wanted to do more, you can, obviously. So, the next one we did, we were forward, weren't we? Because we were trying to do this movement, a step in. What we're going to do now is rather than a step, we're going to try and use this muscle a little bit more. So we're going to step out, we're going to push down a little bit, we're going to use the inner thigh, we're going to just drag that leg back. You can feel it in there. So again, not arching your back, relax your back, you can sit back a bit, depends on your chair. For me, I need to sit forward on here. Takes more support to sit forward. So you're going to be using your core muscles as well if you can sit forward. And you might feel that as you're pulling in there, you can feel that working. So that is all good. If you need to sit back, that's fine as well. So a little push down and a little pull in. A little push down and drag. You're dragging it back, aren't you? Good. Let's do the other leg. So we step it out and we drag it back. Yeah? So if you're seeing that from the front wall, out to the side, push down, drag. Feel the muscles. Just think about what you're using, yeah? So as you're doing this, don't just get on just moving my leg. Focus, yeah? I want you to think about what you're doing. Push down a bit, pull in here. Lovely. Feel the difference, yeah? Focus that mind. Pull. Push down. Pull. Push down. Pull. Fantastic. Okay. So, on the other one, we stepped under, didn't we? So this is a little bit different. We're going to take the legs out in front and draw them back. Again, you might need to think about where you're sitting. Don't arch your back, don't arch your back. We're taking the legs out in front. We're pushing down a bit. We're going to pull them back. Now, as you do this movement, you're going to push into your feet. But I also want you to sit into your chair quite heavily. So I want you to kind of push into your hips and push into your feet. Might feel that in your core as well. Keep breathing. Sit tall. Okay. Knee lifts. We're going to try and just make that a bit quicker. A bit more continuous. Very creaky chair. Let's <laughs> go forward a bit. Squeeze your 
bottom. Stick your bum out. A bit slower. Yes? That's level two. If you want to do level three, we're not going to sit down. So you're going to stay at the front. You're going to tip forward. You're going to push up. You're going to sit back. But you're not going to sit down. You're going to push into the feet. Again, aim for about 10. If you need to have a breather, have a breather. So you always just stop the video, have a drink, take a few breaths, come back later or do it in a few moments, it's up to you. If you want to do more, you can carry on, stop the video, keep going. Okay. So we're going to have a go at the lunges again. You can make these harder, these are pretty hard. But some of you are getting quite fit now, so if you do want to make that a bit harder, you can do a double. So remember, we're close to the chair. This is a tippy chair, so be careful. You don't want to put a lot of weight on them, but this tips really easily. So you want to keep the weight in your feet, but just make sure you're safe, yeah? You're going to do a step back. We're pushing into this foot here. Push. Push into the front foot. Now, if you wanted to make it harder, you could try and do two drops before you came back in. So, weight in the front foot, push and push. You don't have to, you can go and stay with singles. Singles are still good. Make sure that weight is in the front foot. Make sure you're not putting all your weight onto the chair. If you feel wobbly and it's all going wrong, maybe it's a nice idea, as I said, to have a cushion underneath. Yeah? So sometimes this bit feels like it's going to be easy and then you get here and you think, oh no, it's all gone wrong. So you, it wouldn't hurt to have a cushion there. There's nothing wrong, this is actually the next level. And this just means you're coming down onto the floor ready to do this bit. So you can do that if you want to. But as I said, I'm going to put that in another video anyway. Yeah, so nice and simple. Push the whole of that foot into the floor. Don't go too low so it doesn't go wrong, you don't wobble. Try and stay nice and strong because this is our strength workout. Yeah? And then take a seat, have a breather. How are we doing? All good? We've got one last step to do. So we're not actually going to do much more. We're just going to do the things that are on the seat, yeah? Because we've done all the levels of the lunges and the sit to stance. So we're going to go just back to your leg lifts. And this time we're going to add a little lift. Two and bring it down. Now if you want to make it easier, alternate your legs. So if you're thinking that's quite hard, alternate. If you think, oh that's quite good, you like a challenge, don't alternate, stay on one leg. And you will feel it more. So if you're having a bit of an off day, maybe alternate. Maybe pick the easy levels. Want to challenge yourself? Pick the harder levels. Only you know how you feel. And again, we're aiming for 10. Count again. I'm better when you're in front of me. <laughs> so really extend, lift, lift, lift. Nice and tall, so you can see through my body. I'm sitting up. Even as I lift, my body stays 
sister. More slow, deep breaths. muscles have worked a bit harder by doing it that way. Okay, so we've got the others to do. When we do these, we step down, we push down with form here. All we're going to do to make these harder is just push down a little bit more, but do make sure you're not pushing through your body. It's just a push down in, with that leg. That's all it is. Push your foot into the floor, pull here, drag them in. You just make that as hard as you want to make it. It should be that you feel it here and here, not in your back. So if you're really feeling it in your back, it's probably that you've just made it a little bit too hard or you're pushing through your body. Yeah, so focus on the drag more then than the, than the push. Keep breathing. Do the same on the other side. Again, if you've got some nice music, don't get so carried away in the music then that you forget all of your technique. Yeah? You still want to think about what you're doing, how you're doing it, but the rhythm can keep you going. It can help you to move into the next part, the next step. Might lose count though, like me. So about the same both sides, we've got one exercise left and then we're going to just stretch out. So we're going to take the legs in front, push down a bit more and pull back. Now remember, I'm quite far from the back of the chair, this makes your core work quite a lot. If that's not working very well, you might feel it in your back, so you just need to sit back a bit and then it should get a little bit easier. Yeah, so play with it till it works for you. Try and feel, push down, feel the back. Think about the back of your thighs. Pull your legs back. The more you think about it, the more it will be easier to hopefully feel what's happening. So connect to your body, connect to your muscles as you work. Position. Just relax your leg and we're going to try and tip forward. So we're going to lean on the other leg maybe or hold on to the chair and just tip forward. Now this stretch will go up into the back of your thigh. It should be pleasant, don't do it too hard. And breathe and relax, just let that stretch sink into the muscle. So be gentle, be kind, keep breathing. And then we're going to come up. This is probably the hardest stretch. We want to open into here. So you might need to come onto the edge of the chair. See if you can drop your leg. Now, if you've got tight hamstrings, you might actually find that they don't like that. You could try it at the front. Maybe you can hang your leg a bit more there. But you're trying to just open into here. So this is a trickier one to experiment with. And again, if you're on your own, make sure, be careful of chairs tipping and things like that. 
Okay, let's do the same on the other side. So easy with a band, but you don't have to. You can just pull your toes back. The next one, we relax the leg, we tip forward. So this goes into the back of your thigh. So be careful, so the chair is tipping. Feel that stretch. And then the last one, under the chair maybe, holding onto your chair. And again, just let the leg hang. We're just trying to open sort of into this area when we do this stretch. Excellent. Well done.